Welcome back to the channel, folks. This is daily update for Mullen stock, and we have a very, very amazing catalyst that came out for the stock. This is again 8K filing, so this is not an opinion. This is something that they got into contract. And who got into contract is Mullen Automotive and Kianto Motors to launch EV supercar branded Mullen GT and GTRS with program start commencing March 20th, 2023. So they got in together. They, you know, they want to launch a supercar. If this does happen, and some smart money start believing in Mullen stock, I guarantee you the stock will definitely go above $30. Again, I'm only guesstimating based on this. All they need is a good, good investor come in to Mullen at this point. Okay, let's talk about this catalyst. What does it say here? Mullen is granted a license for IP and exclusive distribution rights in North and South American market for Kanto K50 Dragonfly. Mullen will finalize the vehicle engineering pursuant to U.S. standards. EV supercar will be rebranded and refreshed to sell under the Mullen GT and GTRS brand and with expected performance of 0 to 60 miles in 1.9 seconds and top speed over 200 miles. So this is again a phenomenal news. I'm not going to go through the full listing, but this is a phenomenal news. At this point, what Mullen really need is well, Mullen needs some trust. Right now, they're lacking trust in the market. Not a lot of investors are investing in the company. I've showed you guys the institution holdings, which I'm going to show you again. And this is the institution holding 6.3%. This number, in my opinion, has to go above 40. Okay. When this number goes above 40, you know, institutions are believing in the stock. And I am almost certain that at that point, the stock is not going to hover around 10 cents, 12 cents. It's going to be around 25, 26, 30 dollars at that point. If this number goes above 40, that's what we need. We need institutions' confidence in Mullen right now, which is lacking. And the second is, we also have the stock is steady coming down. If you look at the order flow, most of the order flow are basically from the small investors, which is retail investors. If you see here, 35% of the inflows is basically from the small investors. So it's a lot of retail investors picking up on the stock, believing in the company. However, smart money is still yet to be onboarded with them. And of course, I'm making daily videos. And when I started making videos on the stock, the stock was hovering around 28 cents. Now it's down to 12 cents or so. And I'm, I'm releasing video every day. And I've been saying the stock is going to get down to 10 cents before we can see, you know, a momentum. And I, we do have an upcoming on March 31st where they're going to deliver their first, uh, you know, class one EV to Randy Marion, which again is through a company which they acquire ELMS, which Mullen acquired. They had a contract with Randy Marion. That's another dealership. So they're going to deliver them the vehicles for $200 million. But but we yet to see any type of delivery happens. And the, the date we have is March 31st. I'm anticipating a good move on March 31st. But for now, that catalyst is also very nice. And if it start become you know available and you start seeing movement on that catalyst and we get these institutions start believing in the company, I'm pretty certain that the company can make it. But if you are not able to do that and you're not able to get all these institutions buy in on this plan, uh, then, you know, then I can see the stock not really moving too far off. So hope you guys are uh, liking these video. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.